So Partridge Inn was originally built back in 1836 and it was used as a private residence. Like I said, it was just a beautiful mansion for a beautiful family until the late 1800s slash early 1900s when it was purchased by Morris Partridge where it was consequently turned into a hotel. People absolutely loved Mr. Partridge simply for his charismatic nature. They loved coming and being in his hotel and as such business was just booming. And pretty soon he was able to add an additional four stories to the two that the hotel already had. The hotel was so prominent and Augusta is actually Georgia's second oldest city. So back in the 1920s, the Partridge Inn was even selected by Augusta city officials to be the official inn of a gala held in honor of the president at the time, which was Warren G. So it was a pretty big deal and it was honestly just the star of the city. It was known as the house on the hill and like I said, it was just a gem of the city. That was until the 1960s where um, things kind of took a turn. Unfortunately, just with the economic climate changing at the time, um, between the 30s and the 50s, things really changed for the hotel and it was no longer uh, quite as sought after and guests certainly were not frequenting it quite as much. In the 70s, this building was transitioned into apartment buildings or apartment units, I guess I should say. Then in the 80s, as the building was just truly falling into decline, a group of activist city leaders and people from all over Augusta came together in a joint effort to save the Partridge Inn. By 1988, the Partridge Inn was reopened and pretty much restored to its former glory. It's gone through a lot of renovations since that time frame, but this place has served as a lot of places, I guess. It's just worn a lot of hats. It was someone's mansion, their dream home. It was an inn um, for a long time. It was apartments for a long time and then eventually became an inn again. Or should I say hotel now? <laughs> it's technically owned by Hilton um, and you can tell that it's been modernized quite a bit. I feel like on camera you can't quite get a vibe of how old this place really is. And I was saying that earlier, it's not broken down or it's not desolated by any means. It's just definitely seen some love and some wear and tear and you can really tell that these walls have truly been lived in. With that much history, there's bound to be a few hauntings left behind. And in particular, this place is famous for the ghost of a girl named Emily. Supposedly, and I found no historical backing here, but this is a story from the 1800s, so obviously things weren't documented quite the same as they are now. There was a young girl named Emily who was getting ready for her wedding at the Partridge Inn, and her soon-to-be husband, her soon-to-be groom, I should say, wasn't showing up. He was late to the reception, he was late for meeting her, and she was getting very concerned. She was like, am I being stood up? Like, I can only imagine what was going through her head. It wasn't long after she was still getting ready for the wedding that she received the news that her groom-to-be had been shot. He was shot off of his horse by officials um, who mistook him as a wanted criminal which is a pretty big deal. And supposedly, Emily just went into total shock. It was enough to just send her into a dark and horrible place, and she essentially had a full-blown mental breakdown, um, just wearing her wedding dress for weeks and weeks and weeks before eventually dying of supposedly a broken heart. Um, it's a very sad story, and again, there's no historical backing that I can find, but I don't doubt the story because so many people have seen a young woman wandering the halls of this place in a wedding dress. They've seen her in rooms, they've seen her in corridors, just wandering around in her wedding dress, almost like she doesn't even know that she's gone. It's a super sad, super scary story, and I can only imagine how freaked out I would be if I saw a young woman wandering the halls of a hotel in a wedding dress. So I will definitely be interested to see if anything happens tonight. Okay, I love you guys very much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.